Now your spouse desires promotion in his or her job. Yes. What's, how can you be helpful? How can you serve your spouse? How can you love your spouse in that situation? Welcome to Relationship Clinic, powered by Keeping Marriage Alive Initiative. And I'm Rich, and that's my wife. Hello, I'm Angie. Yes. And we're discussing the second foundational habit um, under our acronym ALIVE. Alive. And it's about love. love. You know, in, uh, for us, anyone who has gone through our process or our teaching or counseling knows that love simply means service. How do you meet a need in your marriage or even in as individuals for one another? So one of the things I was sharing with my husband before we began was that one of the needs, we, even if you desire a child, without your spouse coming to apply their own path in that yeah. need, it won't be achieved. So love is meeting a need. And one key thing i want to ask you is that how do you meet a need if you have not listened so listening is a crucial foundation for love you know one one joke we heard was one lady mother asked her why do you love him because he listens why do you love him because he listens when we all crave to be heard by someone and when someone listens to us we actually fall in love remember that the heart, the heart we see that is designed is simply two ears connected to one another. Mimi, can you share about the promotion we're yes. discussing? Yes, uh, you, you need to listen to know which kind of promotion does a spouse want. Exactly. Is it a raise in salary, a raise in position, mm -hmm. a raise in technical ability, increase in skill? Exactly. So you know how to even pray for if two can only work together, except that they are agreed. Yes. I remember we were even looking for a child. Yes. You wanted a set of twins, I wanted one. Ah. Do you know, with that child never came. So we back. came back <laughs> and agreed on one. Oh. Then that, the next month. Because I was pregnant. You know? So uh, we are agreed for three children. Sometimes God gives you exceedingly abundantly, but he begins with your agreement. You must agree. So we want to um, ask you, as a couple, and even as a family, if your children are growing, what have you agreed to do together? That's your action points this weekend. Because as a, as a couple, when you agree, things flourish. Things come easily. When you agree over your children and also in, bring their input into it, your children become outstanding. Let's make a change this year. Begin to listen in love because that's really all about it. Okay? Yes. Don't forget! Don't forget to follow us on our social media. Keep your marriage alive. Keep your marriage alive. That's Facebook and uh, Instagram. Twitter is alive KME. And of course, you can chat us on WhatsApp. Yeah. It's plus 234-708-876-5212. We'd love to hear from you. Also, you can send us an email. Keep your marriage alive at gmail.com. Touch that dial. Have you registered for the Couples Hangout Confidelity Movement Exercise Party? It's holding on. On the 11th of February. 2023. Do, do chat us on plus 234-708-876-5212. For the couples, 11th, 11th of February. Saturday, Sunday. See you there. We love you. Salute. Bye. Bye.